Tucked inside an Atlas rocket, NASA's Perseverance rover is set to go. Next stop, a February landing on Mars. The robotic vehicle is designed to look for signs of past microbial life that would at last answer the fundamental question, did life ever exist on the red planet? And Mars really gives us the best opportunity, I think, in the short term to make a significant discovery that will forever change how we think of ourselves and forever change um, how we think of space exploration in general. Perseverance will enter the Martian atmosphere at 21,000 kilometers per hour. After a series of zero margin for error maneuvers, the rover will land in a place called the Jezero Crater. Eons ago, NASA says there was a lake and a delta here, the perfect place for life to have developed. So I think what we're looking for are, are really the patterns and textures where we have a hard time explaining how that could have formed without the influence of life. Scientists will direct the rover to the most intriguing spots to collect soil and rock samples, then leave them in containers on the surface. In 2026 begins perhaps the most ambitious robotic mission ever. NASA and ESA, the European Space Agency, will send a fetch rover to pick up the samples, bring them to a rocket to be launched into orbit around Mars, where another orbiter will capture the samples and return them to Earth in 2031. It's a long and involved process, but it's one we're absolutely dedicated to, and we're going to make it happen. Once scientists get their hands on the samples, we may finally know whether life existed on Mars or perhaps still does. The search for life is the primary but not the only mission objective. An oxygen generator will test the ability to turn Mars's mostly carbon dioxide atmosphere into oxygen for future human exploration. And there are microphones to listen to the sounds of Mars. And there's this. It's a helicopter equipped with cameras, cutting-edge technology engineers hope to fly three times. Really just the very first flight um, where this helicopter spins its rotors and, and lifts up off the ground. Uh, it's going to be both historic and, and we're going to learn a lot. The very first attempt to find life on Mars came in the mid-1970s. The United States sent Viking 1 and Viking 2. Both landers carried out biological experiments but found no clear evidence of life in the soil. NASA has successfully soft-landed eight spacecraft. In 1997, the Pathfinder spacecraft delivered Sojourner, the first rover on Mars. Landers and rovers since have looked at climate, geology, and whether Mars' environment could sustain life. Private companies are eyeing the Red Planet, too. This vehicle, called Starship, which hasn't flown yet, is being built by the private company SpaceX. Founder Elon Musk boldly predicted it would take passengers to Mars by 2025. For now, perseverance is the best chance yet for a seminal moment in our understanding of life beyond Earth. John Zarella for CGTN, Cape Canaveral, Florida.